In this video, we're going to show you how to install our lock and load engine kit. This kit is the easiest to install out of all of our kits. This is the world's easiest engine kit available. Lock and load and you're ready to roll. Here's what you need for the simple installation. Two small adjustable wrenches, zip ties, a box cutter or sharp knife, a wire stripper, electrical tape, and a compact drill with the 5mm and 1mm drill bit. The kit you received should come with everything you see here. This bike can ultimately go on any 26 and sometimes 24 inch tire bike. The first thing we'll need to install is a square shaped mount that will go on the seat stay. Place the mount in place, then take the three designated bolts and nuts and hand screw them in place. Be sure the mount is centered. You can use a 14mm socket wrench if you have one, but otherwise, two small adjustable wrenches will do the trick as well. Next, we'll attach the main mount to the engine. Put the beveled side of the cylinder connector on the engine and place the mount on top. Hand tighten the four black bolts with washers, then tighten them using a wrench in an X pattern. Next, we'll put on the two side mounting bars. On this bike, we'll put on the lowest setting, but it may differ for you depending on the dimensions of your bike. Be sure the top slit of the bar goes in an upward diagonal angle that goes from bottom left to top right. Putting this the wrong way will prevent you from lifting your engine up. Next we'll mount the engine onto the mounting plates. This part is much easier with two people, but it's possible with one person. Put the engine in place like so. Then drive the bolt through. Be sure to put a spacer between the mounting plates and the main mount for the engine. Then use two wrenches to tighten the end nut. Let's put the quick release lock on the back, similar as the front main bolt. Slide the bolt through. Be sure to put a spacer between the side mounting plates and the main mount. In some cases, the spacer on the engine side may be too large. If this is the case, all you have to do is take a file and file it down slightly. After that, it should fit perfectly. Be sure that the release handle is on the opposite side of the engine. Also, be sure that there is a nut on both sides of the middle bar. Time to install the throttle cable. Take the metal side of the throttle cable and hook it onto the engine like we do here. Install the throttle cable by zip tying it to the bike like so. Don't tie them all the way until you set everything in place. Next, we'll install the kill switch along the same path. To hook the kill switch wires to the engine, it's simple. Just black to black, red to red. If your engine doesn't come with a plastic cover to connect male to female, you may need to splice the wires. It's simple. Just strip one of the wires, twist the two wires together, then wrap it with electrical tape. Once the throttle and kill switch wires are in place, you can tie in the zip ties. Clip off the excess. Next, we'll install the throttle handle and kill switch. First, remove the existing handlebar grips off or use a box cutter to cut off your current handlebars. Then you'll want to drill a small 5mm hole on the handlebar, about 4.25 inches from the end of the handlebar. First, drill a pilot hole with the 1mm drill bit, then follow up with a 5mm drill bit so that we have the actual size hole that we want. Then install the kill switch by simply placing it around the handlebar, inserting the kill switch notch into the drilled hole and tightening the screws. Lastly, we'll put on the gas tank. It's fairly straightforward. Put the gas tank on the top tube, then put the two clamps under it. Hand tighten the four bolts. Also, be sure to use the washers that came with the bolts. After you hand tighten them, use a wrench to tighten them further. Place the fuel valve on the gas tank, then put the fuel line around that. Attach the opposite end of the fuel line onto the engine here. Use zip ties to secure the fuel line to the frame of the bicycle. And that's it for installation. Make the final adjustments to the throttle cable. First remove all the slack from the throttle cable by adjusting the tension on both the throttle handle side and the engine side where the throttle connects. Once that's done, you can fine tune the idle speed with this screw here. First, you will want to add oil into the engine. 
For new engines, we recommend Maxima Scooter Premium 4-Stroke Break-In Oil. You will want to use this oil during the first two full tanks of operation or about 100 miles of use. During the break-in period, take it easy on the engine and vary the RPMs. This will ensure a long-lasting engine for many years of fun and enjoyment. Once you're done with the break-in, we recommend Maxima Scooter Pro Plus 4-Stroke Synthetic 10W30. We offer a self-priming siphon hose for easy changing of the oil. Now let's get the engine started. Pull the start a few tugs and it should start. The first time may take multiple attempts but after that it will be easy. Now engage the engine on the rear wheel. It's important when you lock the friction motor to not press it down too hard or too soft on the tire. It'll take a few tries to find the sweet spot, but after you get it, it'll become second nature. Now, have fun. If you guys have any questions, you can email us at support at or go to our website.